Okay, this is the second part of video seven. What we're going to do, we're, we're going to do now is we're going to add to your section. Uh, we know these floor joists are 11 and 7 8 inch, uh, 11 and 7 8 inches deep. Uh, let's round that up to 12. So if I have this line right here, this line goes from outside of exterior wall to outside of exterior wall. You guessed it, 44 feet long. So if I offset that line, 12 inches. So let's call it 12. We won't use 11 and 7 eighths. We'll use 12. Uh, when we look at our at our joist layout, the first thing we have is we have that uh, that pony wall. So that pony wall, like I said before, is going to be let's call it a half inch of sheathing. It might be three eighths, but just for argument's sake, we'll call it half. And then we have a three and a half inch wall, so 3.5. A two by four inch wall is what makes up our pony wall. That's going to be our pony wall here, and then our joist will all be over here. I'll show you how to draw a joist down the road. So this is going to be our pony wall. Also in our pony wall, we, we always uh, we cut through dimensional lumber. We show an X when we cut through a dimensional lumber. So I'm going to offset this line 1.5 and offset that line 1.5. This is going to be my dimensional lumber in that spot. There's an X there. There's an X there. I'm going to copy that X up. That's my dimensional lumber. And then trim those lines up. So there's my pony wall. Uh, half inch sheathing, three and a half inch pony wall. The distance of this thing is four inches. Sweet, four inches. <clears throat> On top of that, we have three quarter inch sheathing. So I'm gonna offset 0.75. There's my three quarter inch sheathing. Again, draw a little line there. Don't extend the line, make sure you draw a new one. This is my floor system. I've got my half inch sheathing pony wall and a three quarter inch uh, subfloor. And then my joist will start over here. We'll, we'll again, we'll, we'll do that later. Um, we want to start making the wall up above, and after that wall lecture, you should know what a wall looks like. I said this wall is eight foot one high. It's eight foot one because uh, we need enough room for drywall. Uh, if drywall is exactly eight feet, these studs might shrink a little bit, so we give ourselves a little bit extra. And also we have a half inch of drywall that goes on the ceiling first, so the, the most we'd possibly be left with is eight foot and one half inch. So let's take this wall, or this floor here, the top of floor, top of subfloor, offset that eight foot one. So there is the top of my next floor. I'm gonna draw a little line here. Draw that line. And again, I'm gonna offset my sheathing 0.5. Let's call it 0.5 inches. And then I'm gonna offset that line 5.5 because this is a two by six wall. So there's my half inch sheathing, my two, two by six. And again, I'm going to draw the studs here, offset that 1.5. And I'm gonna make this a little piece of dimensional lumber that I'm cutting through, dimensional two by six, trim that up. Good, and I'm gonna copy this thing up. I'm gonna copy it from that point. You can just redraw it whichever you want. Copy that X up and then offset this line 1.5. Offset that one twice. The top plate of, a, of the wall is always a double plate uh, in an exterior wall. Well, not always, but almost always because it's load bearing, the, the wall the wall is going to be spaced at 16 inch centers, the studs in the wall, but the roof is spaced at 24 inch centers. So we have to make sure the roof is landing on something load bearing. So this is going to be, that's your outside of your exterior wall. You can plunk a window in there later. Uh, to get all of this stuff over to the other side, I want you to use the mirror command. So grab your mirror. Actually, the first thing I want to do is I want to erase the, the ladder in the top over here and erase any stuff that I don't want. I use the, the blue box. It erases everything inside. Uh, then I'm going to mirror this, select everything inside that blue box right to there. And if I select the midpoint of this line, I know this is at the 22, point, 22 foot point of a 44 foot wall. Set the midpoint there. Now the other side is also drawn. That thing should be pretty good. So now what you should do, this is all main floor stuff. Your section line is again, just like it was before, is going to be 13 foot four, 13 foot four from the outside of exterior wall. That should take you just inside this room. So I think it doesn't cut through this wall here. It, you will see that wall, it's right on the edge apparently, but it will cut through this one. So I'm gonna cut through that and cut through that. Select both of those, take them straight up, make sure it's straight, make sure it's snapping straight. Take it like that. Then all I do is take those lines, extend them all the way up, choose extend again, extend them all the way down. That one was a little long, so I'm just gonna trim that one up. There. That is now my load bearing wall. You'll put a single plate stud on top, a single plate on the bottom. So you'll cut through this, in, this interior non-load bearing two by four wall. You can finish the rest of the section yourself. 
The other thing I want to show you is how to make your new section. This new section is going to be located 28 feet. I've already got the section line in. 28 feet from outside of exterior wall here. That's where this new section is going to be located. So we'll cut through that window and cut through those stairs. Well, I know this distance here, this new section is going to be 24 foot 6 wide. But I'm lazy. I don't want to redraw anything. I'm just going to copy my original section. Just copy it off to the right. Now the section is all about height. So the, the information and plan was all about getting information from top to bottom, like copying walls up, copying the width up, all that. The section is now all about height. So I'm going to copy this off to the right. That's why I'm copying it there. Now I'm going to erase everything inside. Now leave your floors and all of that. Leave all of that stuff. But erase all, this, all the interior walls and stuff that you don't need. Now this is 44 feet. If I put a dimension line on this, you'll see that this thing here is 44 feet. Yoink. That thing's 44 feet. I want to be 24 foot 6. So if I move this wall 20 feet this direction, it's going to end up at 24 feet. Well, I want it 24 6. So I'm going to move it 19 foot 6 from this wall in this direction. I'm going to use a new command called the stretch command. So if I hover over, hover over stretch, I don't know if it shows up on the video, it stretches objects crossed by a selection window or polygon. So if I were to choose the stretch command and do this, nothing is, cr it's not crossing anything in this case, okay? It's not going to be doing the job I want. I need it to go from top right to bottom left. And everything that this dashed line touches, that's what will stretch. Everything wholly inside of this window will not stretch. But whatever this dash, dashed line here touches, that's what it will stretch. So those are the objects I want. I hit enter. Select the base point. Uh, whenever I'm moving a certain distance, I can just select a base point anywhere in the boonies, just in the white area here. And I know I'm going to move to the left. I'm going to move at 19 foot 6. There you go. There's my new section. It's now 24 foot 6. Your new section, which you are cutting through this stair looking uh, toward the kitchen dining room, is now probably 3 quarters done. So finish up that section. Uh, I don't think there's anything else to talk about. We taught you last video, we taught you how to draw the joist and use the array command. Now we finished off this section here, kind of, well, started to finish it off. You can do better than that. Uh, and then we drew section B at the, with the section at the 20, at the 28 foot point, which is right there. And I think that's about everything else we need. Uh, if you have any questions, I'd be happy to answer them anytime. Send me an email at paul.norris at sate.ca. Otherwise, I look forward to seeing you in class. Talk to you soon. Bye.